Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yes, welcome back. Woo, I tell you. Riri is what they call her. Bad, baddie girl. Or bad girl. Or bad, bad gal Riri. Okay, that's what they're calling her. And I'm like, I'm here for, I'm here for, for all the, the, the shits that she's not giving. She don't really care about what nobody's saying about her and her baby. Because <clears throat> basically, she sat and told us that her baby was fine. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Is she talking about uh, ASAP Rocky or is she talking about her baby boy that she just got delivered out of her belly? Well, not just got, but you know, last year pregnancy for her. And child, she pregnant again. I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. But anyway. Oh, I tell you, Hollywood Life or just every media outlet was putting out a story on her. But they mostly were getting on her about calling her son fine. Now, you know how mothers are today. Or not like the mothers 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. Okay? But you still have some that like that old school rocking where you just say your baby is you and start naming them all these little crazy names. You know what I'm saying? Like my little cutie boogie big bear, my little boosie boosie my little bear. You know what I'm saying? You be thinking of all this shit that come in your head and you just be just throwing it out there, you know? But not one time have I ever heard anybody say that their baby boy or baby girl was fine. Okay, so she getting a lot of backlash, but she's like, mm, I don't care what y'all saying. But, you know, when I thought about Riri and I saw her in the British Vogue and how she was looking, she was looking kind of satanic, y'all. I ain't lying. You know, the, now, A-Start Rocket, he wasn't, and the baby boy wasn't. But that whole makeup look, got her looking like a witch or something. I ain't too much care for it. And then the color scheme they got, red and black. Okay, what's that supposed to mean? Where's she going with all of that? But, you know, like I said, maybe red, black, and white is her favorite colors. I have no idea. They just look kind of suspicious to me. Kind of coldish, if you get my drill. But, um, if my computer would just stop spinning and pay attention to me, so I can read this article and we can have something to talk about in those comment sections. But, um, I guess I might just skip around here. A uh, bad girl or uh, bad gal Riri. She was on her Twitter account and she was saying, My son's so fine. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. And we're like, We're glad you don't care. And we're glad you're open to have people have opinions about what you said and what you do out him. You know, I'm glad you're cool with all of that. That tells a lot about your character. What we say don't make or break you. So we can go on with our conversations. And it doesn't affect you not one hell of a bit. Okay? So I get that, Riri. I get that. But your, your fans, your fans were going off on you, girl. They were called um, fair weather friends, you would like to call them. Your stances, they didn't like what you had to say. They didn't like it. But I mean, if A.S.L. Rocket can wear a scarf over his head, if he can wear similar women's clothes, why not? Why not that you would say something so crazy or out the way of normal thinking that you would call your baby fine okay and technically you shouldn't be calling your man fine i mean not fine but a boy so i think you had in this article you were calling both your boys well that's what's wrong with women now and we, you know, we get a bad rep for that because we always that nurturing side. We always want to love on, protect, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But in actuality, the only thing you're supposed to be giving him is love and some built morals of uh, good. And, you know, just showing him what love is all about and protecting him. But then, well, I wouldn't say protect, I say nurture. But, you know, the mama cub going to always, the mama bear is always going to protect her cub. So... We don't give that all to the man. Behind it, we have from Hollywood Life, Cassie Gill wrote us up a story, and she titled it Pregnant. Rihanna defends calling her and ASAP Rocky's nine-month-old son fine. Now, you see that? That boy's already not. He's going to be damn a year, and she don't got pregnant again. 
taking some of his shine. But I ain't gonna lie, the whole those pictures I saw, they kind of reminded me of Rosemary Baby. And if anybody know what I'm talking about, if you don't Google it, Zoe Sandana did the 2014 remake. But you might catch the old black and white era back in probably the 60s or 70s when they made the movie. But yes, honey, that's what she gave me. She gave me this kind of tease. Not the baby, but just Rihanna is, you know. Um, but let's go and get into the article. And y'all put down in the comments that y'all, you know, felt the same way. Because I was looking at how she was holding the baby. And then she took a part of it where it was like one eye. You know, like she was saluting the Illuminati or something to that degree. I don't know. You know, it just gave me the, the creeps. You know, the heebie-jeebies. I didn't like the whole setup. But anyway, Rihanna clapped back in an Instagram comment featuring photos of herself, Acel Rocket, and their son from the cover of British Vogue. And I think um, somebody caught her out there by the sea. They were filming something. It looked like they were trying to do something. Uh, and it's probably was they were developing this article in Vogue British Magazine. They were, you know, setting their tone, too, because we didn't know what they were doing. But we know the baby was out there. And Riri ought to have her ass whooped because I don't care if she's in the islands or whatever. You should have had something on that baby because he could have got chest cold or anything. You know what I'm saying? You don't have him out there in all the elements. You have him wrapped up like he got you got you got some sense, Riri. But anyway, it's her first child. She got to learn. She got to learn. But yeah, in that picture, she looked kind of satanic. You don't think she kind of got gothic or something? I'm like, what are you trying to tell us? Is that Rosemary baby that you just had, honey? Is he going to change? The tune of the world as he get older. Girl, do you have him marked? Anyway, moving on. That was just my, you know, my satire, okay? But did y'all get the, did you get out in the comments and be free? Did, did that picture freak you out when you saw Riri dressed like that? Why did I always got, why she got to be in black? You know what I'm saying? Oh, but anyway. Since Riri is defending calling her nine-month-old son with a self rocket fine, the single 34 first made the initial comment on Instagram post, her family photo shoot with her baby and ASAP, also 34, from their new British Vogue cover. My son's so fine. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. She captioned the photo before making references to her second pregnancy, which she announced uh, with her Super Bowl halftime performance on Sunday, her first performance in seven years. Okay, how crazy. Uh, both of my babies were in these photos and mama had no clue, she also said. I'm like, see, that's where women go wrong when they start treating their babies boys and saying baby boy gets them into that frame of mind that they're not being developed to be men one day. You see what I'm saying? So, we, we, we need you to do better. We need you to do better. That's your man. That's not your baby, okay? That's your man. That's your provider. That's your protector. But that's not your baby. Get it together, girl. But anyway, um, she says some of her followers seem to take issue with the use of term fine to describe her sweet little boy with one commented who calls a baby fine well hell Rihanna just did <laughs> deal with it getting back to the article it says Riri quickly commented back his mother then said you just keep your little cougar paws away from him and we good all right to another person who said she was referring to her child as a grown man all right mm-hmm Rihanna gave birth to her first child back in May of 2022, embracing her pregnancy with a series of stylish looks. Last spring, they showed off her glowing or growing bump. She revealed that she had ASAP's Neek Rakeem Myers. Okay, we're actually planning to have kids when he found out she was pregnant. The first time in 2021. I wouldn't say we were planning, she said, to the publication, but certainly not planning against it. Well, Riri, if you weren't protecting yourself with some condoms or some spermicide or something to that degree, you wanted to get pregnant, baby girl, and he was okay with impregnating you. But moving on from there, um, I don't know when I ovulate or any of that type of ish. We just had fun. And then it was just there on the test, she also added. Without directly confirming that she was pregnant for the second time, she did tease she was thinking of bringing some, someone. 
to the Super Bowl show as a special guest during the halftime show, but no one could have predicted she met her unborn little one. Okay, Rihanna waited until December 2022 20, to share her son's face in a sweet TikTok video, but has yet to reveal his name to the world. As for her second pregnancy, it's unclear how far along she is. However, it appears she could be um, set to give birth again to a little girl or a little boy this spring or summer. Okay, I'm like, Riri, girl. Riri, in one uh, article they was, I was reading also, was saying that she didn't even know she was pregnant with her second child or when, you know, when she had agreed to performing at the halftime show for the Super Bowl. So, I mean, if one would to, if one would just give her that and not question it, okay. But my, my deal was you had to be, well, you know, pregnancy is different for everybody. Some people are very sensitive to the pregnancy where, you know, they nauseated the whole pregnancy. Um, um, they just eat everything strangely, you know, like pickles with, uh, ice cream or pizza with, uh, steak, you, you know, some crazy and shit, uh, that women be craving. I wouldn't really craving, craving anything outlandish, you know what I'm saying? It's just whatever I wanted, I got, you know, if I wanted ice cream, I, I like a certain flavor, black walnut or Napoleon, um, uh, or uh, Napolitan is what they call it. I call it Napoleon. But anyway, that's just me, my hang up. But, you know, everybody don't have to have strange tastes. It could just be or ordinary taste. You just want an abundance of it, pretty much. But yeah, honey, we were flossing across that ocean. Talking about her two boys. I see one boy. I don't see a second boy. I see a man. But again, she's like pulling him like Eve and Adam. Adam and Eve. You know, the woman got to be, you know, mesmerizing them, trying to attempt them to do things that they know aren't correct. But um, I tell you, I, I don't know about Riri these days. Because technically, she should have never went on the Super Bowl performing the mess that she did. I mean, she couldn't even two-step right. I mean, she couldn't shake her little tushy tushy because uh, she was just doing her hand motions. I'm like, if they don't get Riri off that stage, if they don't get her off of that stage, then I heard she was throwing up the pyramid signs and stuff of that nature. I said, like, okay, salute your leaders, baby, salute your leaders. But, um, I mean, it was a lot of conspiracy uh, theory people um, out there putting the pieces together. As the show went on, and uh, they said she threw up the hand sign and all that kind of stuff. I didn't see it. They said she edited it. Hell, when I was looking at it, I didn't see it. So, I'm glad, you know, it is what it is. I think when you go to concerts, they just be doing rituals anyway. Uh, people be coming out there, I don't know what they uh, felt like or saw. Or they can even give you a detailed description of what, you know, happened at the concert. It was just all vague, you know what I'm saying? See, I don't like no stuff like that. Mm-mm. Don't like no kind of stuff like that. But yes, Riri didn't do nothing at that Super Bowl, but up here, she lip synced through the whole entire thing. And um, and she wanted to tell us she was pregnant without actually telling us, okay? But, you know, they called her publicist and they did confirm that she was indeed pregnant because technically she looked like, like four or five months to me. So, uh, surely... She should have known that she was pregnant when she was getting that uh, go-ahead or green light to say, will you come and do a Super Bowl for us? <laughs> we would just be lying her ass off. But, you know, her, her followers, her, her fanatics, her fans, they believe her. But uh, I don't know, y'all. The whole thing, how she was taking the pictures with the baby and the color scheme she used. What y'all think? Were y'all getting Rosemary, baby? If not, what was it giving you? Okay, get down in those comments. Sound off. Let me know. And I will see you all on the next video. Peace.